Hey there, Andrew here, your friendly neighborhood DevCycle developer advocate. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to get started adding feature flags to a project using DevCycle for feature flag management. So to get started, we're going to need both a problem and a project. And I've got us covered with both thanks to a brand new React app that I've spun up and this new maintenance mode page that you can see here, which I'm looking to be able to control using feature flags. Now, before we can start adding our feature flags into the code itself, we're first going to need to head over to the DevCycle platform, create a new account. And once you've gotten through the onboarding process, you'll be presented with a screen that looks a little bit something like this, where you can create a new feature. We're going to go ahead and click on this create new feature button. And here you'll be presented with a bunch of different options for types of flags that you can create. For our maintenance mode flag, we're actually going to use an ops flag or an operational flag, which happens to be a long-lived flag that allows for us to do some core functions within our application, like maintenance mode. We're going to click on that ops option, and we're going to create a new feature called maintenance mode, which will have a key of maintenance-mode, which will be important for us later. We're going to set this to be a Boolean variable, which is going to be really important to have our two situations on and off, and then we're going to click create. Fantastic, our new feature has been created here in the DevCycle platform. But before we navigate away, there's one more really important piece of information that we're gonna need, which is gonna be our client SDK key, which will be really necessary for actually implementing the DevCycle React SDK into our application. To find that, we're gonna head up here to our nav bar, click on the key, and you'll be presented with all of the different keys for your different environments. For today, we're gonna just focus on the development environment, grab that client key, click copy, and we are good to go. With our new feature set up and our SDK key in hand, the last piece of information we're going to need is over here in the DevCycle docs, which is going to be the command that we need to install our React SDK into our sample application that we're using today. So you can choose your favorite package manager, grab that command, and we're ready to head over into VS Code to get started adding our feature flags into code. With our React SDK installed, we're ready to head over here to our app.js file where we're going to be adding our new maintenance mode page and we're going to be adding the logic thanks to feature flags to control who's going to see it and when. First things first, we're going to need to import some of the important logic from the React SDK that's going to allow for us to do two things. Our first import statement is going to grab that with DevCycle provider hook, which is what we're actually going to use to connect to the DevCycle platform. The second import statement is going to grab that use variable value hook, which is going to be really important to actually grab the value from the DevCycle platform based on the key that we set up, which if you remember was that maintenance dash mode key. With our imports complete, we're going to head down to our export statement. We're actually going to implement that with DevCycle provider to allow for us to use DevCycle throughout our application with that client SDK key that we grabbed earlier on. With this, not only can we use DevCycle here in our main application page, but if we develop further components down the road, we'll be able to use DevCycle there as well. With our import and export statements complete, we're now ready to add our maintenance mode page and the logic that's going to allow for us to control who sees it based on a DevCycle feature flag. First, we're going to create a new constant called maintenance mode, which is going to implement our use variable value hook and take in two parameters. The first parameter is going to be our variable key, which if you remember from earlier on was that maintenance dash mode. And the second is going to be our fallback evaluation value, which for us is going to be false, which will ensure that nobody's seeing the maintenance mode by default if something goes wrong with the evaluation. With our maintenance mode constant now created and returning either true or false based on our targeting rules, we're ready to add our actual maintenance mode page and the logic to show that if maintenance mode is true or our standard React page if maintenance mode is set to false. Now we just need to click save and then we can head over to our sample React app to see what's happening. So as you may have noticed here in our React app, our maintenance mode is not showing and that's due to two things. First is the targeting rules that we have set up over in the development environment on the DevCycle platform. And the second is that fallback false value that we have in our code. So let's head over to the DevCycle platform to change our targeting rules for the development environment. To find our targeting options for the development environment, we can head over to our manage feature sidebar, click on development, which is going to be highlighted in green because it's currently our active targeting rules. And you're going to see here that I've got some basic targeting rules already set up, which are basically targeting based on my email. Now I'm going to change this to all users. I'm going to set my configuration to configuration one, which for us is set to true, which you may have noticed above click save. And now if I head back over to my react app, you'll notice that we have got our maintenance mode up and running. How do we change it back? Well, we can head back over to our feature page. We can change our targeting rules from configuration one to configuration two, click save back to our React app. And in real time, it's gonna update back to our default React app mode. And that's it. It's that easy to start adding feature flags to a project using DevCycle. 
For more information on how to add DevCycle to your project, head on over to docs.devcycle.com where you can find information on all of our SDKs, integrations, key features, and much, much more. Have a question you'd like to ask a real human? Head on up to the nav bar and click on the Discord icon to join the DevCycle Discord community where you can find all the members of our team and ask them all your burning questions about DevCycle and feature flagging. That's it, you're ready to get started with DevCycle. Thanks for watching and looking forward to seeing you around the community.